said this is basically anyone's heard the term dry well or uh, French drain. People have been doing this for hundreds of years, I believe. Um, you want to get water away from something and just have it soak into the ground, but typically it's, you know, all it is is a pit in the ground you're going to direct your water to so that it, um, it can soak away, sort of out of sight, out of mind. Um, so here we're taking off this bit of roof what comes out of this uh, downspout. So in this spot where the foundation is actually back there, so we're more than 10 feet away from the foundation, we're really sandy soil. This water will soak through this almost as fast as it'll soak through the, um, the permeable driveway. And you could very well fill this up with stone or an open gravel and have this directed through again either just through a small rock line channel or hook a big old pipe like out back onto here and bury it and have it you know emerge as long as you have enough pitch from where it's connected to where it comes out that it slopes so the water doesn't sit in it and enter in and what you can do with them then is you know if you have a bigger roof and you have um, more water to deal with or you have heavier soil that doesn't infiltrate as fast you're going to make it a whole lot bigger and fill it either with more stone or what are starting to be seen now are these things um, they're marketed under different names rain tank is one aqua block is what this one's called and it's really like a glorified milk crate and it comes um, in pieces each of these is a separate panel you know, take a couple minutes and it all clips together, but it, it's fairly rugged. Um, they're meant to be able to hold a heavy load so they can be built underneath a parking lot with the gravel over top. You can actually drive over top of them. Um, you can put them underneath the patio or what we like. It's a way to use it on a soak away pit. They're more expensive, but it's a whole lot lighter than three wheelbarrows full of gravel and trying to get that delivered to your house. You can go pick one of these up for they probably retail for 80 bucks or something. Drop it in the pit and have your water go to it. So here really what we're going to do with the, the fabric, they call this like a geotextile fabric. It's really tough, like you, you know, you can't tear this stuff. Uh, roots will a bit get through it, but its main purpose here is to stop uh, this thing from clogging up with sediment. So I mean you'll line it and set this guy in provided he fits. I was rushing. Um, but what you're going to do is get it all wrapped up and tucked in nice. Might have a little excess here that I don't need, but it'll stop this thing from getting clogged up. Would you recommend doing water the same? Oh, this is. It flows right through it. Yeah. Would it be useful to do the same thing even if you're putting grav uh, gravel or? Yeah. Use this for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Line it and then put it across the top too. So now on this, you'd bring some of the soil back and back fill it up to here, or take some washed stone just to finish it off at this point. This one, uh, since the soil is so sandy here, being downtown Kitchener, we don't need to be tremendously deep to handle this little bit of water. The volume in this box. What we're going to do is take it a few inches deeper and really just have it hidden under the mulch. Put a few plants around the edge of it and it's just going to be a hidden little feature. You won't even know it's here. And when this overflows, it soaks in, tree's happy. Simple, simple little thing to, uh, you know, as opposed to, oh, I got a rainwater problem. I'm going to turn this onto my driveway and run it go to the street. You know, turn it the other way and let it soak in.